today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you what a day in the life of a food blogger is like, or at least what my life is like in a day in a life. What am I even saying? I've gotten several requests to make this video, so I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, be sure to hit that like button to let me know so I will know to make more videos like this. So I started my blog, it doesn't taste like chicken.com, five and a half years ago, and I've been doing it for about three years full time, and in that time I've also written my first cookbook, Fuss Free Vegan. So yes, this is my real career, I do make a living at it, and it is my love, my passion, my dream, my favorite thing to do. Now as much as I feel very lucky and fortunate to have the career of my dreams, I want to say that this this did not come easily. I worked so incredibly hard to get to where I am. A 40 hour work week, I, ha I have no idea what that's even like. I work long hours each and every single day and weekends and I don't take that many days off to be honest and I've been doing that for five and a half years. Yeah. One day, one day, I hope to have kind of a more normal schedule, but I, I don't I don't know, I can't see that happening anytime soon. <laughs> but what can I say, when you wanna make your dream a career, you have to work really hard to get there. So each and every day, I do different things depending on what's needed for my blog, but I'm gonna film everything I do today and share that with you so that you can see kind of what a standard day is kinda of like. So let's get to it, let's start my day. Every day I start my day by waking up, I know, shocker, but um, I'm lucky enough because I do work from home and work on my own schedule that I rarely set an alarm, so I wake up when I want, which is usually about 8 in the morning. I come downstairs and the very first thing I always do is make the world's best cup of coffee, because that's how every day should start. I'm currently obsessed with this silk almond hazelnut creamer, so delicious. I highly recommend it. And then I head straight to my desk and start working. I love my job, so I'm always eager to start the day. I usually start by answering comments and emails and that kind of thing. There is always an endless list of tasks I can do, so what I usually do to make sure I complete the things I need to is I will choose three or four main tasks I want to complete in the day, and I will write them down to remind myself, and then that is my goal to finish those tasks for the day. Time for a little breakfast. I'm just having this like toasted round bread thingy with some natural peanut butter and this vegan honey alternative. It's made from apples and I put it in the fridge, which I don't think you're supposed to do because it made it super sticky and it like wouldn't come off the knife and it was kind of a mess, but it tasted really good. So, oh well. Hi buddy, are you having a good morning? Yeah, sleeping in a little? Nice dog, so cute. Wanna? <laughs> now that I've got my day kind of organized and ready, I've gotten dressed for the day and I put on my fancy red lipstick because I actually have a video conference call later today. And it is a Wednesday and I launch a brand new YouTube video every Wednesday at 10 a.m. So I am just preparing to launch that video. My latest video is going live now. <laughs> I always share my video launches on Instagram stories, so be sure to follow me on Instagram at it doesn't taste like chicken. I just finished my phone call, my video phone call with the client, which I didn't record, and now I'm just going to set up. I'm having a dance party, apparently, but I'm just setting up for some food I'm going to be cooking. I already tested this stuffing recipe, so I know how to make it perfectly, so now I just have to prepare it for food photography. I'm very much a multitasker and I'm always interested in learning more. So while I am cooking this recipe, I put on a podcast so that I could learn a little bit more. I was listening to the Smart Passive Income podcast, which if you are a blogger of any kind, fantastic. Highly recommend checking it out. 
Now, of course, because I am a food blogger, I spend a lot of time in my kitchen, so I'm always cooking something, whether I'm recipe testing or photographing or experimenting. Just setting up for food photography, I shoot all my food photography here on the floor on this whiteboard and giving it a good clean since I am putting food on it, making sure no dust and spots and stuff is on there. And then these are my lights. These are food photography lights, or well, photography lights. And I have t-shirts on them, which I know looks kind of goofy, but it helps diffuse the light. I like to include step-by-step -step photos of my recipes on my blog so that it makes cooking easy for everyone. So I'm just doing a couple shots of these toasted bread cubes to include in my post. I always do several angles and you know try to arrange things so they look a little different so that I have a few options at the end when I go to edit my photos to choose from. This is a stovetop recipe. I'll link the recipe down below if you're interested in making it, but I'm gonna do some photography on the stove so I bring my light over so that I have a nice source of light for photography. And once I got some food cooking in there, I take some more step-by-step -step photos to show you what the food should look like. And a little action shot. <laughs> um, doing these action shots with my hands in the photos are always a little bit goofy to take photos of, but I like the end result. My veggies are sauteed, so I'm adding the bread cubes and doing some photography of that. And now I'm taking a pour shot of pouring this broth in. You can see it's kind of complicated to take photos and do these things all yourself, but I've gotten used to it over the years, so now it's no big deal for me. While my recipe is just finishing cooking up, I'm going to set up for the final food photography, just grabbing some props. A couple dish towels, some spoons, and some fresh herbs. I always just play around with stuff to try to see what I think might look nice. And then it's time to bring over the finished dish and I'll kind of mess around with it, trying to get it to look exactly the way I want, adjusting the lighting a little bit as needed. Just looking through my camera and seeing what looks nice. I'm going to try this red dish towel instead to see what I think of that. Always looking through the camera and I don't like that. So I'm going to try the blue one and um, yeah, I don't like that. I'm going back to the white, I like the fresh vibe for this photo. And then I'm just going to place it just so. So it looks, I don't know, cute in the photo. <laughs> My personal style is that I like to use a lot of white in my photos to make the food the real star of the photo. A lot of people ask me if I do any kind of like weird fake tricks for food photography and I don't. Um, I always just use the real food that I'm cooking with and um, I just kind of like fluff it up or you know juice it up a little bit in different ways but um, it's always the real food. It, I don't use any fake food or anything like that and I always eat it after shooting. <laughs> I'm decorating it with just a little bit of fresh thyme. I used thyme in the recipe, so that fits right along. And I'm gonna try some sage as well, which I also use in the recipe. Finding the most perfect leaf and where I should put it. Um, but after messing around with the sage for a little bit, I decided I don't like the look of it. So yeah, I decided not to use it. A little fresh pepper and salt to finish it off. I just find adding these little touches on top really just take the photos from bland to having a little bit of life and personality. I've never taken a class in food photography or any kind of photography for that matter. I taught myself how to do it, so these techniques are my own. They're just kind of what I've messed around with over the years and figured out, um, so that's how I do it. But um, yeah, everyone has their own techniques and little things that they do. So now I'm just taking my final photos. I added in a reflector here just to get even more light. Like I said, I like my photos really white, so I try to put a lot of light on them to make them very bright and happy and scrumptious looking. <laughs> as soon as I finish my shot, Chickpea knows that that's her cue and she's allowed to go in and clean up any little crumbs. <laughs> now I'm just picking at the stuffing, just eating a little couple bites for lunch. Pretty lazy, I know. 
After food photography, I like to take a little break and take Chickpea Dog for a walk. She has access to my backyard all, all throughout the day, but I like to take her for one long walk where she can kind of explore the world a bit and run around a lot and run into other dogs and have a good time. After the walk, it was back to work, so I grabbed myself some soft frosted sugar cookies. I have this recipe in my blog if you want it. They are amazing. And I had a bit of mint tea as well. Back to my office and after petting Chickpea and telling her that she's a very good girl, I get to photo editing. So I load the photos that I just took and I edit them, which just means that I crop them and adjust the lighting and colors a little bit, maybe remove any little specks of dust that I don't like or any little details like that. More snacking, I love snacking, and um, I have some carrots and red pepper hummus. And I seriously don't know where all the hours go because it is already about 6.30, so I'm about to stop and make a little dinner. For dinner, I decided to have a staple, just a simple pasta with olives and hot sauce. Yes, one of my faves. And then because I spend all day working by myself, I always try to do something slightly social, so I meet my friend Trish for a drink. Yay, wine. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for a brand shiny new video every single Wednesday. If you have other ideas of videos you would like to see along this lines, let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you next week. Bon appetit again! <laughs>